So hello, love. So every time I get together with you, I think, what am I going to talk about today? And this time, what I want to do is let's talk a little bit about alchemy. Now, alchemy has been around for well over 2,000 years. And it goes way back before, way back before the time of Alexander the Great, where he conquered Egypt and found out what was going on there, when they would take what they thought they could take base metals and turn them into gold. Now today, we think of alchemy as a transformational process, because that's what it is. It's about transformation. It's about taking the ordinary and turning it into the extraordinary. It's more of a metaphysical process, and metaphysical means beyond the physical. It's beyond what is in right in front of us. So alchemy is this amazing process by which we can take whatever's going on with us, and we can just, through our, our mindset, through the way we're thinking about it, through what it is we're doing, we can read something, we can learn something new, go to school, we can do whatever it is, just to open up to something even greater. And then we change what was ordinary for us and turn it into what's extraordinary for us. So we can also do that in conversation with people. We can do that with, you know, what it is we're doing in our home and how we tend our gardens. Alchemy in our gardens is, you know, when we till the soil and we plant the seeds or we plant a new plant in our garden and we take the weeds out and we water it every day and we just take care of things and we mindfully do what it is we do to make sure that grows. And that changes and that's part of the transformational process. That's the alchemization of what we do in our gardens. We also do that in our relationships and our friendships with the people that we love, with people that we're just getting to know. I was just recently in an opportunity with some people um, that I know and had a conversation with someone who came up to me and was kind of him to come up and just check in. We hadn't seen each other for a long time. And so I was asking him questions about what's going on with his life because that's what I do. I ask lots of questions because you just kind of, that's part, what, part of what you do. You kind of move from what's ordinary, a kind of a simple little conversation. You go deeper and deeper with questions. Tell me what's going on with you. How is everything going on with your work, with your family, with all the different things going on in your life and he was telling me a lot is going on he's had a lot of transitions a lot of people who've left the planet uh, and others who are in the process of doing that he's had a lot of changes in his work he's had a lot of changes in his family life and I just sensed that he really needed to know just how wonderful he is because he is he's a remarkable man he's a member of my family and I just sat there and said do you have any idea how amazing you are and what a good man you are, and how hard you work, and how you're seen for the things that you do, because he doesn't feel like he's recognized a lot of times. And so, so much of what we do is just acknowledging each other for the good that we see, and for um, the good that they're doing, and for, you know, what it is they're doing in their lives, and it changes your day. And he said, he got tears in his eyes, and he said, Oh my gosh, thank you so much for telling me that. And he gave me a big hug. And I didn't intend for that to happen. I just thought, he needs to know how he matters and, and what it is he's doing in the world really makes a difference. Because it does. He makes he does a lot of things for an awful lot of people. And I'm hoping that he has an understanding of just how amazing he is. And so in that short conversation, it was really lovely. And the thing is, is when we have those kind of conversations with each other, it creates and it's, it strikes gold like it did with him. And it did with me too because it was just like I had no idea. And it just was something that just came from me and was part of something that was, it's right in front of you. Here's this man going through these challenges. It was right in front of me. And so when I said what I said to him, I acknowledged something within him that's very true. I wasn't just saying something to kind of um, make him, you know, throw some compliments at him. It was an empty. It was very true of what I said to him. But the thing is, is 
is when we do this, we create this chemical process within ourselves. And it truly is chemistry. It's the alchemy within us. We take something this ordinary, turn it into something that's extraordinary. And the next time I see him, I'll say, okay, so how are things going now? Last time we talked about this and that and, and these different situations, how are you doing now? And we have a greater connection now than we did before. And so we have this great experience. That's what alchemy is. We are all alchemists. We can take the ordinary and turn it to extraordinary, whatever we do. So like my husband today, he made alchemy, and he didn't even know that he did, but he brought me some flowers. Now, I've been a florist for 29 years, and when I used to work in a flower shop, I didn't even smell, literally didn't smell the flowers because I was so used to it. And no one ever gave me flowers because I was around flowers all the time. So when somebody gives me flowers now, I'm like, Thank you. Thank you so much. That means so much to me. And every time he brings me flowers, he strikes gold. And so he struck gold today. And I was, it made my day. Really did. And when he sees this video, he'll go, huh. And that might just make his day because he made my day. Well, that's how this stuff works. We go about our days and doing what we do that seems ordinary and seems kind of like, you know, doing the same old thing. Well, maybe you're in the doldrums where things just kind of are are just steady and they don't really seem to change but you can just change one thing and do something that's just out of the ordinary and make it gold make it glorious make it wonderful make it exciting and just something little some little thing you can do you know I have we have two cats and uh, I pick up one of my cats sometimes and and they both respond differently one of them you don't really pick up she doesn't really like that very much but the other one we pick her up and hold her all the time and she loves it. The other one doesn't like to be held. She'll come and sit on your lap and then that's golden. That's wonderful because I then get to spend time with her and I hold her and I pet her and let her know how beautiful she is. All kinds of things can happen from the alchemist of what you are. So as always, I have a painting for you, and I've been working on this for about three weeks. Started out as a little pencil drawing, which is like a three by three, four by four pencil drawing. And oftentimes what I intend, I mean, this is the basic image of what I had in the drawing, but what I intend to do usually turns out even better than the actual drawing itself. And so then I take it and I put it on a board. And a lot of what I do on the board, I, I do by hand. So it's not perfect. A lot of the pieces in here, some are a little bit bigger than the others. And, but I do it by hand because it's, it's a pretty good size image. I take a three by three image and turn it into an 18 inch by 18 inch image. But the whole idea behind this was about the colors. And I'll just tell you another brief story. <laughs> when I was a florist, uh, there were a couple of Christmases where the colors of Christmas, of course, you had your green Christmas tree. And then we had crimson colors and golds and like plum colors and um, let's see, blues and of course, greens. And they were all deep, rich kind of uh, uh, gemstone colors. And it was just a beautiful, beautiful tree. So I wanted to do a painting with these colors. And so I did. So I'll show you. Here. So let's see if we can get the shine off. But um, it's got purple and it's here's green in here, so they're really dark green. And this is black and of course blue. And there's a really deep crimson here. And I wanted to brighten it up, so I put this vermilion color over it in the spirals. And then until I get the details going, I don't really I can't really see how it's gonna turn out. It's like ugh. I'm not sure it's going to turn out. But the fun thing about this is I take these images and I put them on clothing. There's a, a site that I work with where I put this on clothing and different um, like suitcases and, and umbrellas and all kinds of things. But when you take this image and I mirror it, this, this corner piece will be like four corners coming together with this gold. And this round right here, this half round piece, will be um, black in the middle and then it'll go into um, the green and then the purple and then the orange and the crimson and this gold here and so it'll be a full circle of these colors here and it'll be on all sides so it's kind of fun so when I paint these paintings I think okay what's it gonna look like when I extend it and I turn it into these other images that I'm gonna work with and so that's kind of the fun of what I do with these paintings and so it turns from 
just colors, just an image, into the detail, and then it turns into something where it becomes uh, you know, a greater alchemical process by which I've turned something into what I consider to be gold. And then I'm done with it and I go, huh, I kind of like that. So there you have it. So may you know just how amazing you are as an alchemist in this life. That whatever it is you do, you can transform the ordinary into the extraordinary. That whatever it is you do, you can take just what's simple and turn it into something just glorious. Or maybe you even take something that's really greatly detailed and turn it into the simplicity of the beauty and the elegance and the grace of what it truly is deep inside. And oftentimes it's just a small change or maybe a small exchange that you have with someone else that maybe you light up their life or maybe they light up your life as well. Because that moment that I shared with that family member, I will always remember him. I will always remember that moment with him because it was golden. It was a golden time that he and I shared. And it was a time that I'm hoping it stays with him as well. And that's the thing that what we do when we come from the heart, we come from the love within us, that it is so glorious that comes from things that are not just beautiful, not just shared from a loving place, but there's a peace about it. There's a harmony about it. There's a compassion that comes. And it all is something that is truly golden and truly meaningful and it creates meaningful uh, remembrances of these experiences that we have with each other. This is pretty astounding and it's pretty simple and pretty uh, amazing because it's usually right in front of us. It's usually something that's just kind of seems kind of hidden and then all of a sudden something pops up as you have an exchange with someone else or an exchange with your animal or you're making something glorious for each other just like when my husband brought me flowers today little did he know that he was going to make my day and then i really was just so surprised that he brought those to me and he buys me flowers often but today was a day that i was like oh thank you so much so i'm going to go make dinner and hopefully it'll be some kind of alchemical thing that'll turn to gold and we'll have a lovely meal and share some time together and uh it'll be good that's really what it is. It's good. It's gold. It's wonderful. So please know, as Grandma always said, I love you bunches. And it's so true. I do. So we'll see you later. Bye for now.